see this coming out from LGD more than anything else, right? Like they play very solid planes. They don't necessarily look for the kill opportunities themselves until you get at least level six up. And I think say that's one of the spikes LG LGD tends to wait for. This time around, nothing to say is level six is not going to be as amazing. You tend to see the uh, system held back, although. Well, they've got a first blood coming in. FNG is going to be the one to drop. Sync Q will take the kill on the Marana. That's what it'll set up there with the leap arrow. Although S4 is slightly head anyway, so it's not too much of a problem. With the travel truck and limp though, you can show up around lanes and they're gonna go. That'll be a big pick off. They got the stun into the stars, but the arrow might save the day though. The stuns were way too long. S4 now will go down, but it's well and truly worth it. FNG meanwhile with the death war just channeling all the way. Faith Beyond will finally come in with a burrow strike. They'll get a double. Two for one trade, but they got Arme on the troll. Clear out down bot as well, so kind of evening out the map control here for both sides. Really starting to eye that mid. Both sides really want to take that mid. Epi, FNG caught, arrow to follow up, they get the kill. Shards is there, they know Faith Beyond still around with the dust out. They might be able to burst him down, but no, not quite in time. Not to say, we'll try and turn back around onto Hansk and gets the Tusk kill. And they have the Exorcism active now. They go after that T1 mid with the Siege Creep if they can protect it. Four. She jumps right in onto Sin Q. Follow up, cast, Melodic, Death Ward, everything. Just make sure Sin Q dies, but now Faith is in with the Burrow Strike Epicenter. But the snowball in from Hanskin with the Walrus Punch. They will get another. LGD just not finding the openings, not finding the team fights they need. I, I gotta tell you, John, the, the way they're initiating, it looks a little bit desperate. They're just trying to even out these fights. They're not fighting to their own strengths here. We're not seeing, say, a good throw strike with the Elder Titan on his end, speaking of. Alliance. Just false. S4, he's making the DK look great this game. That tag team. Yes. Arrow, gonna scout out. Does get rid of one of the Necro creeps. Epicenter being channeled. He does end up cancelling now. S4, he's in with the Dragon Tail. They've got the follow up stuns to boot. He'll try to use up Faith Beyond and survive a little bit longer with the Burrow Strike. But Nico Baby on his tail. In fact, they're going to turn back around. The DP chasing down FNG. Enough to say we'll get the first kill of the team fight. Now Alliance wanting to remove themselves from this scenario. They still have the Omni. Faith, it's stunned up by Hanskin. It's like he's going to tank the gank for the team. But they might just turn now. The buyback is out from FNG on the left side. They found nothing to say. They split up the team fight thanks to Hanskin. With the distraction play. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit dangerous now for LGD. Like, he wastes another XO to come in. Yeah, Faith, he's been caught out. Melodic is there with the Death Ward and he's dead. He yields himself up but there's no way out of this. To try to survive. Melodic will eventually kill him, but now Nico Baby might be in danger. He'll get out of there thanks to the Soulbind and double silence of Lip into the ethereal form. Arme gonna pop the battle trance back onto Nico Baby. He's running his way out. He's gonna be fine. The snowball save! Hanskin once again saving the day oh. for the Swift Slash. They will still kill off Nico Baby anyway. Arme is gonna die regardless though. Limp is able to get him with the shotgun. Why? Trying to get something, will kill off FNG, but at the cost of his own life. A very even kind of team fight, a 3 for 3. Alliance don't know about this. Sentry Ward being taken out by Sin Q. Shards actually blocking him in the pit. The save will run around. S4 now with the Ink Swan initiation. Has the DP. Warriors punch out. Arme already with the battle trance. They'll get Hanskin. And S4 is taking way too much damage. LDD looking good in this team fight. As nothing to say will keep going forward. But S4 has bought back. Roshan so darn low. They've got to make their way in ASAP, but it's too late. Aegis is taken. They're still going to try and fight. S4 back in with the Ink Swell onto the DP. They don't have the DP ulti now, but it may not matter because S4 is going to die back immediately. Arme now. No battle trance, but he does have an Aegis. And that's just as good. But to say, he wants the big one. He wants the junk. The arrow is not going to follow up. It won't land. Towards the south, FNG trying to get rid of Faith Beyond. Towards the north, Nico Baby looking to go back in after Y. Nico Baby might have enough damage, and should with the spin. 
faith. Just going to borrow a strike out on the Sand King. Bring someone down. S4, we talked about the farm distribution. S4's lag behind. S4's behind Sin Q's farm. So that DP is, uh, that DK is starting to lose its potency. Well, S4 is back in with the Dragon Tail and the Melodic now. Army taking a lot of damage, but he gets the BKB into the Battle Trance. Nico Baby gonna be saved by the Ghost Scepter, or rather Ethereal Blade into the Omni Slash back onto the, the Saints. A lot of damage he gets the kill. Swift Slash as well. Nico Baby still alive, just being chuffed around. Yule Scepter spin is there in time through the epicenter. He can turn now. Faith is in trouble on the Sand King being stunned up. S4 gets him. He wants a bit more. He loves Sin Q. They don't find him in time. That alliance is in the triangle at the moment. It's just a matter of how they get in there. Moonlight Shadow gonna be popped. Alliance holding their ground. I don't see any sentries. They might have a gem. No, oh, did he's in. Now underneath the sentry, but it won't matter. They got the Burrow Strike in time. Not gonna say right onto Hans, because they want the Tusk Death and they'll get him. Arme now. Onto the junk, there's your Lotus Orb Swift Slash, but now Omni Slash being committed. This DP gonna use up Nico Baby, can't kill her off. They'll turn right back around. He's still trying to fight, but it's not gonna be good enough. LGD, I can't believe they could literally walk up like that. Output. But and there was just a lot that didn't line up for Alliance. LGD going to be punishing by finding some big objectives. There's no Omni Slash on the respawn of Nico Baby, so his damage half is low, although. Oh, I'm gonna try and solve the Lotus Orb again, gonna save the day, or maybe not. He's gone the other way, Arme. He might just go for a fight anyway. Limp, he's gonna get stunned up. Now Faith Beyond, he holds down the back lines. Arme, I don't know if you wanna die Fountain. He doesn't. Dragon Tail, nothing to say. In with the shivers. They've got a poke and prod, it seems, onto Arme. As well again, S4, Yule Stop. It's not a danger. Do they initiate? Yeah, they do. Baron Strike is out. The Snowball safe. It's going to be there from Hanskin to try and buy some more time for S4. Now the Soul Bind, but there goes your DK. Down with that buyback. Faith Beyond, Baron Strike, MP Center oh. all on to the Grimstroke. Limp. Can't really afford to die at the moment, but he doesn't have much choice. He will go down again without buyback, and they'll lose FNG to boot. Everything falling apart now for Alliance. And LGD looking to close this one out. Not really much Alliance can do, but they're going to try. Three versus five. Swift Slash. Deals some pretty decent damage. Arme is actually quite low. Snowball, snowball from Hanskin is there. They do get the Aegis, but Nico Paby, he's dropping. He'll get himself out. LGD, you don't have the Aegis, but you might just keep going. Yep. No cares in the world. They've got all the damage out. It's three against five. Defense rush the Chug is just so difficult here for the side of Alliance. Try onto Nico again. The Jug being caught out by the Burrow is still fine, but look at the damage up for the Daedalus. My goodness. Arme gonna turn around with the Abyssal Blade now. He's got Nico Baby, the Swift, no, rather Swift Slash is there, but the Pash on the range hit. Nico Baby will still survive, but Arme is back to the Ancient. He's back to it. They'll glyph it up. They've bought enough time for their teammates to be back up and alive, but the Ancient's half HP. LDD, they're not going to back off. They pop the exorcism. They're committing to the objective. Inkswell on S4. It's not going to initiate. Ancient's still dropping. Yule's up on the Dragon Knight, and the Ancient's gone. No messing about. LDD, you take game one and Alliance. Have to watch for wise level three timing. Oh, to mid lane. Limp. First blood going to occur. Nothing to say. Able to pick it up. It's uh, slow going for Faith Beyond, but it's still steady farm. He's going to have his lot lane from there, which and should lead to some saves. S4Y gets another kill onto Hanskin. They have the damage. Why? His fourth kill of the game. He's 4 0 0 now on the Phoenix. Land something with a tide around, but it's not enough. Not to say, Silence. It's there, they've got the Inkswell follow up. He's still alright though. Sink you in with the Hex to lock him down, but no. Limp. Astral Step. They're in time. Arme, he's gonna commit the horn for this. Not gonna lead so much. In fact, Sin Q's gonna be turned on now. Limp. 
makes some amazing plays on the Void Spirit, just making sure he finds both kills, and he might even find a third. He's got another Aether Remnant in a couple seconds. Makes a guess. Doesn't connect. Why? Nice sidestep to the left. Ian and a Ravage. Bot lane, they have found Arme, and they really want that Spectre, but look at the damage from this puck. Arme is going to be able to escape. Oh. Sinq gets the kill onto another. They will punish again, and nothing to say. He will take his time with it. Sweet, sweet time to kill off Hanskin. The Ravage. Are they really going to find a kill? Well, they'll go after the 10 minute bounty runes. They're going to roll in after the puck. Maybe that's the one they need, but the Phoenix is going to dive in now with the egg. They do finally get the puck. The egg should explode and FNG should die, but it's definitely a great trade for Alliance. In fact, they might go back in now after seeing Q, but no, they'll leave him be. Instead, it's LGD finding the secondary support. Still pretty worthwhile for Alliance, I think, getting the punk kill. Get a kill or two. And they could start pressuring the mid T1 tower. Dream Coil though, gonna be committed onto Nico Baby. They've gotta turn right back around. Nico, he's gonna survive for now. Hanskin's in with a big, big magnetize. Limp now, he's caught the puck out. Ooh. The Ravage follow up from S4. That is a great rotation in, but they're not done yet. Caught in from Arme. Faith Beyond comes in. Sunray on S4. He is melting and does die. Sync Q with a double. And Arme is still chasing the PA and does get the kill. It looked like such a great start, but they just didn't have enough. They I keep finding they these pickups. Lane, coil, land, S4, the one being caught out. But there you go. There's your double silence into the double yours and the eighth of Remnant. But the Stampede is out. They're not giving up. They will still rush forward and they'll get another. Whoa. They'll get a cherry on top of the S4 cake. Away from Alliance. Yeah. There's not much Alliance can do about this. They are clumped up in this. Inks will there, but this is very wishful thinking. They're gonna try, but the Hex is out now to Hanskin. He's been shackled and he's gone. Meanwhile, Faith Beyond is holding back the rest. Egg committed, Nico Baby needs the way out. He will blink right towards the right. S4 has Ravage, will commit, oh. and it's a big Ravage underneath the tier 2 tower. They'll get Sin Q. Arme, pretty low himself. Nico gonna try, but it may not be a great idea. Icarus dive out. He will blur to try and get away. Now Limp comes in, but nothing to oh. say. Got the PA in the back lines. Arme's just fine. Limp can't finish him. Faith beyond. He'll stun them up and just run. They just seem so much tankier on LGD's end. So much time moving around with his team. He's doing the right thing, but. If your teammates Arme? are dying around you, Arme, he's gonna walk right in. He's by himself right now. This should be a pretty massive kill for Alliance. Unless he can haunt away somehow. Stampede is there, but they lock him down. Still locking him down. Just not letting him move, but he won't die. Arme is now gonna turn back around. Just run. The Ravage is out now. Faith Beyond with the Stampede, and Ooh. now the turnaround. Coil will be out onto Limp. Getting the Void Spirit kill. S4 will be the second. Now that's demoralizing. Five versus one, and Arme almost going out of that. Just that confident. Alliance. Smoke their way in. Oh, stun. Ooh. Faith Beyond, he found the big one, and they just blow oh him up. God. Nico, baby, he's gone. Ravage, not there in time. S4, he's gonna try and fight back with Limp, but he's been left alone. This might just be a dieback. Not the same. Gets Hanskin. S4, he is allowed to walk away. It's pretty scary. Faith Beyond smoked up with his team. Stampede in. Coil gonna be off the mark. They wanted limp, but they got the hex anyway. They found the Void Spirit. Arme comes in for FNG. They commit the egg. It won't mean much. Why is just doing his job? He just pressed. Uh, he's just gone. That, that, that's unfortunate, John. Nico Baby jumps in on the CQ, he gets the BKB, turns right back around. They've oh got Nico God. Baby controlled up. S4, the Ravage was just too late. Now the egg out from Y. Sunray, they just get wiped. Not even close. Why is 9-0 on 15, John? On the position 5 Phoenix. I don't think they have. Nope. Here we go again, smoke, but look at Sin Q. He breaks the smoke, pops the BKB, oh, the BKB right so back fast. in, onto Nico, baby! Oh, Sin Q! S4, he'll pop the Ravage, is it too late? The buyback's there, but they can't survive long enough. Sin Q! 
How is he this quick? Burst every single hero there. Yeah, I, I don't think he needs it, but why not, right? Never, never enough yeah. damage. Never. Faith oh. is in. S4. Is that really a tight hunter die? It was. <laughs> Here we go, Limp's gonna try, the buyback is there from S4, they're gonna commit, oh but the Sans is out, he can't ravage yet, he needs to try and kite around, but Hans can limp, Nico baby, they're all dead, the GG's called, complete domination, with an ultra kill ending for LGD, an alliance, things just, they don't get any easier.